everyone we have got this super cute super easy slice of watermelon let's get stuck in with the construction lines we're going to draw a line straight across the top then we're going to draw a bit of a rectangle okay quite deep almost a square but not quite okay then we're going to come down with a center line like this and a low down line which is going to be our eye line there we go. Now we're going to curve off this shape. I'm going to turn my work upside down so I can use my wrist as a pivot. And I am just going to come round, come round like this. And then I'm going to come round again to draw the rind of the watermelon like that. Let's do the same on this side. We're going to come all the way around. Now using your wrist like this means that it's a bit like a compass. So you can be quite sure of getting the same sort of curve on both sides of your work. I say the same sort of curves. All depends where you put your wrist. There we go. Right. Now we're going to put the eyes in between the center line and the outside edge. So we can quickly just get those in. Nice big eye shapes with some lovely big highlights and a smaller highlight there. Nice big highlight. And a smaller highlight. We can make this one a little bit bigger. There we go. And we're going to do this lovely mouth. It's going to be um, very close to the eyes. Just do it in really simple. Oh, isn't that lovely? Now, let's give him some arms. Arms we're going to draw parallel with the eyes. Little tiny hands. And here, whee! There he goes, look. Oh, I think he's weaving, I'm not sure. Now the legs, for cuteness, let's draw a, a line for the ground so we know how long we want them to be. Let's draw the legs angled inwards, a nice indicator of cuteness, and then literally some very simple semicircles for feet. And our guy, apart from a few pips, which we can just randomly place about, is done. Let's do a bite out of him. So we'll do a nice curve there and then we'll feather that out like that so it looks like he's got a bite out of him. Now let's ink that in so we can see what we've done here. We'll draw and turn my work so I can do a nice straight line there. Draw the teeth marks coming out. There we go. Go along to the edge. Turn my work upside down so I can get these curves in. Put my wrist down. Nice and steady. Nice and smooth. There we go. And the same on the other side. Put my wrist down. And follow that shape around. Now I was slightly off last time so I'm going to correct that here. Like that. There we go. And draw the rind of the watermelon coming round, going parallel with the line that we've just drawn. And the same here. Nice and steady all the way to the edge. There we are. Right. Turn my work the right way round. And draw in these two nice big eye shapes. Nice big highlights there and colour in either side. There we go. That's him pretty much done. I think I'm going to do the hands and the pips in a thinner line so they're not too heavy. Or oh, the mouth, of course. I need to do the mouth in a nice thick line, don't I? Let's get that in. Oh, he's so sweet. Look at him. He doesn't seem to mind that he's been bitten either, does he? Life is a watermelon. I suppose it's what you live for. There we go. Nice little hands. Get these legs in. I'm just going to do a couple of lines up and down for this so they're slightly thicker than my pen. Draw in the feet. There we go. And let's 
draw in these tips, which we're probably going to colour in black anyway. So if you have any more pips, I think we'll leave it there. There we are. There's our watermelon. Now let's rub out the lines.